guys, it's me and welcome to the channel. I am Ed the Lazy Natural. For those who are watching for the first time, welcome, welcome. And for those who've been watching me, keeping up, thanks for tuning back in. Thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Now, this video basically is going to be like an update like, I believe, now we're going to get all our stuff straight today. So, I'm going to tell you guys what day I started, with how I started, when I started, my maintenance, what schedule I try to keep, and everything. So, let's get, well, I'm looking down because all my stuff is in my phone. All these calculations is in my phone down here. So, I'm using that. To talk to you let's get into the video so let's pull up this calendar i started my locks mm, may 24th how i started my locks were was i'm sorry was i just twisted my hair i did a bunch of mini twists like i've done plenty of times before i'll put in the description box a couple of my mini twists videos then i'll put in my actual mini twist video basically prepping for micros because these started off as twists micro locks i'm sorry these started off as twists and i do not like the lighting in here so i will come give you guys a close-up but i started my journey um may 25th and for three weeks i basically um I basically wore my hair in twists. I sprayed it. I used water then, and I kept looking on the internet what to do for this, what to do for that, how to keep up this, what to do for that. And I kept my scalp greased. Um, I make my own little concoction of grease. I sprayed that, keep that together. And then, no, I'm sorry. I'm going too fast talking to y'all, talking about I sprayed that and keep that together. No, slow down, Ebony, slow down. So, I greased my scalp with that concoction. I used water every day, and my hair shriveled up. Somewhere in here, I will put a picture of what my hair looked like in the beginning stages. This is like a month later, um, after the, the actual twist, the initial twist. This is more than a month later. Today is July 18th, so it's more than a month later. From the initial twist um as you can see it shrunk a lot um then three weeks later i got on the internet and i'm looking for this because i had a, i had another new world do something figure it out what i wanted to do make my final decision and you know do it um so i decided to do it but i got on the internet and i was looking for these tools like because i don't i chose not to do um not to deal with product i didn't want to deal with product and doing all of this and twisting and all that so i chose to interlock i think to me personally because it's just me doing it i'm not a loctician let me say that i'm not a loctician i know nothing about locks i'm learning as i go and i'll share with you guys information as i get it so, I, like I said, I was getting on the internet and I was on there looking for these tools. And I'm like, these tools is for micro locks? They were huge. Like, I think they enlarged the picture and it threw me off. Like, that's too big for these little bitty twists. Like, how am I going to do that? So, I called my sister and I asked her because she got locks too and she interlocked hers. Um, what tool did she buy? So the tool that she bought, she bought and sent me a picture of just so happened was the tool that I was looking at, I was interested in. So I use, um, I think I showed you guys in one of my interlocking videos, a tool, um, three in a pack. They were, I think it was $6.99 from Amazon. And I interlocked my hair that third week. So the third week from May 25th is one, one two three the 14th so my initial uh locking journey starts june 14th and 
I like it. I've been liking it ever since. I got on the internet and I'm looking and researching. Ooh, sorry, my camera is vibrating. I kicked the stand, it's okay. But back on track. So I looked on the internet and I realized that water is cool, but rose water is better. So I'm in Ohio and we've been having this humid type of weather, like humid, hot, 90 degree, like I was like, whew. So I spray my hair every day, every other day. I haven't got to know my hair just yet in this stage, but I can someone feel like when it's feel when it's too much product on it. Like if I put, um, no matter what you put on your hair, you're taking care of your hair. I'm you. I'm going to use the same products that I use to wash my hair. I showed you guys those products as well in my washing video. I'll put that down in the description box. That washing video because I did wash my hair a couple times. But um, now I'm thinking about how to get rid of this frizz. So in my journey which started June the 14th. And it's been a month since June the 14th. Today is July the 19th, 2022. So it's been a month and a couple days since I started my journey and I like it. I get up and I go. I do make mistakes though. I go to bed with no scarf, hence the frizz. This is so frizzy. It's ridiculous. Can you see that frizz? That is ridiculous. So now I'm on a journey to try to tame my frizz. I didn't write no notes down, so it'll sound like a rant somehow. But if you guys are feeling the information that I'm giving you and you can sort it out and like some of it, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I got some more info for you. <laughs> But anyway, so I spray my hair every day, grease my scalp when I think of it, um, put oil on my scalp after I spray it, but that's not every day. So, well, I don't put the oil on every day, but I do spray every day. I have an itch. I put up a concoction to put on my scalp for my itch. So a healthy scalp means healthy hair for me. And I basically use the rose water I've learned how to make my own rose water and concoction. Um, a couple of cloves here, probably rose water, roses in my water, some rosemary, and some other things in my water to spray my hair with every day. Now, those things are herbs. I don't do anything else but spray my hair with that. That's it. Get up and go. And that's it. So that's the information I have for you guys now. That is my one month update. So wait, before I leave, I wanna tell you guys that I do basically um, wash my hair. When I wash my hair, I put the, wash, um, the washing video up already, but I washed my hair probably four times already. I washed my hair um, last week because I felt like I had buildup. You don't want buildup on your locks. Um, but I don't wash every week. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to tame my frizz so I found another, another mechanism or another method to use to tame that and I'll see if it works. So you guys see all the frizz now. I'm gonna see that if I change my routine up and wash my hair or even i've tried wetting my hair too oh i kicked the camera again <laughs> but i've wet my hair as well like jumping in the shower it's the best wash and go ever like jump in the shower wet my hair wash whatever jump out with my t-shirt on and go i'm out of here i don't need no product no nothing just spray with some rose water rose water put a little oil on my scalp. I do give myself scalp massages and go, and go. Like if I wanna look fancy, I'll do something, you know, and go. Like this is just it, this is it. I'm mad that my background is so dark because you can't see too much of nothing, but my hair did shrink. I'm trying to stay in the camera. <laughs> my hair did shrink 
it was down here it is it's still pretty long but through the process your hair is gonna shrink my hair is this short now i'll put pictures in of now and then and that's really pretty much it my routine is wash retie spritz my hair every day my retie is like i don't count the weeks about my retie my retie is whenever i need it like i don't let it get too crazy but like the third week i'm kind of like looking at my hair to make sure you know that my inside is fine everything is fine i don't mismatch my um my hair when i say mismatch i mean i don't tie this part and don't touch this part if i'm gonna tie this i'm gonna tie all of it and that's just me right now on my journey um i can um spritz my hair every day all here and there on my scalp all on my hair after i spritz it every now and then um and that's really it wash my hair wet my hair and go um i'm gonna try method like i said to put a scarf on my head at night to tame some of my frizz right now the frizz is okay but now i want to try to tame it to make it to see if i can tame it um and that's just putting a bonnet or a scarf on my head every night and that's when i wash my hair i braid and bend of course but i usually take it out right after i'm finished washing now i'm going to leave it on and see if that take what i'm going to leave the braid and band in until it dries and see if that helps too along with some other products like some some butters maybe the butter i make the butter i make it's just so smooth and clear like as soon as you rub it it disappeared you'd never thought it was butter so okay guys that's enough for this video i hope you guys got something out of it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys come back and see more because i felt really good filming this i really did and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe so that you see what i do next time see you